In this lesson, we're going to examine surface area of cylinders, cones, and spheres. And here's our lesson outline. We're going to, again, explain surface area. We will look at how to identify or derive the surface area of cylinders, cones, and spheres. So generally, surface area describes the total area of all the surfaces of a three-dimensional object or shape. And you can see here that we have three dimensional shapes here. A cylinder, a sphere, and a cone. So the surface area of a cylinder is the same as the perimeter of, uh, is the same as the lateral area multiplied by two times the area of the base. The lateral area is the perimeter of the base times the height. So this is sim it's very similar to what you do with a prism, very similar. So let's look at the total surface area. Total surface area is lateral area plus two times the area of the base. Let's start with the lateral area. Lateral area is perimeter of the base. So the perimeter of the base here is 2 pi r times h. So this is going to be 2 pi times 14 times 25. This is going to give us 700 pi. Now the area of the base, let's call that B, is pi r squared, which is going to give us pi times 14 squared, which is 196 pi. So total surface area is 700, 700 pi plus 2 times 196 pi. So this is going to give us 700 pi plus 392 pi. So this is 1092 pi square centimeters. Forget your units, make it a good habit. In some instances, you'll be given a value of pi. Some will say 3, some will say 3.1. Whatever you, Whenever you have that situation, you can do this and then just multiply at the end. Let's look at the surface area of a cone. We also have, this is quite similar to a pyramid. We have the sum of the lateral area and the area of the base. Now the lateral area here is half of the perimeter of the base times the slant height. So we have a slant height here. So that means we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to figure out what the value of the slant height should be. So we have 15 here and then we have 20 here. We need to find S. So slant height, uh, some may call it, refer to it with L. So let's call, well, for the sake of this, we're going to use S. Slant height S is equal to, rather S squared is equal to 20 squared plus 15 squared, which is 400 plus 225, which gives us 625. So S is the square root of 625, which is 25. So now let's start with the lateral area. The lateral area is perimeter of the base, which is 2 times pi times 15. And then we say half of that, we multiply that by half. And then we multiply this by the slant height. 
So this is going to give us pi times 15 times 25, which is 375 pi. Then area of the base, we we'll call that B, is pi r squared, which is equal to pi times 15 squared, which is 225 pi. Therefore, the TSA, total surface area, is lateral area plus area of base, which is 375 pi plus 225 pi, which is going to give 600 pi. Now, the surface area of a sphere, so a very prominent scientist, Archimedes discovered that the surface area of a sphere is actually the same as the lateral surface area of a cylinder with a radius that is r and a height that is twice the radius. Now we're going to figure out how to derive the lateral area. So let's call this lateral surface area of a cylinder is actually perimeter of the base of the base multiplied by the height so let's start with the perimeter of the base the base here is a circular base so it's going to be 2 times pi times r and then the height is actually 2 times r so when you multiply this together you have 4 pi r squared. So the total surface area of a sphere, the total surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Now we're going to apply that to an actual sphere. So we know that the total surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared, which is equal to now. We have, a red, we have a diameter of 15 centimeters, so our radius is going to be half of that, so 4 times pi times 15 over 2 squared. So this is 4 times pi times 225 over 4, which is going to give us 225 pi square centimeters. So this is how you apply all these formulas and concepts to eventually arrive at the area of a sphere.